You're live. Boom. What are we doing on a well, Monday? A little bit different uh, live stream. Usually I'm at your house. We've got done filming and we hook up. Today, real world events caught up to us. Right. So I don't think he's in yet, but uh, we'll be re explaining that. Duncan Harmsworth just come in, Scotch Four Dummies, Nick Place, just as soon as I said it. Wow. Good. Uh, anyway, normally after Bart and I do a, do some uh, recording, we, we've been cranking out an impromptu live stream, which was the plan today. Mm -hmm. uh, real world events got in the way of that. We did not get together for filming. Right. And. But you wanted to, Bart wanted to do a giveaway. Well, we've got to get, I, I didn't want to include the giveaway of the, um, oh shoot. I'm forgetting the uh, brand name. Was it the Altmore? Was that the Altmore box? Yeah. Yeah, the Altmore box. You know, normally we would have done that on Sunday's show, but with Mark being on and with John Glazier being on, we didn't really want to muddy muddy it up with that. Oh, you just forgot. I did not forget. I had it ready to go. You forgot. Uh, trust me. Did not forget. We, we didn't want to do it with John on. <laughs> That would have been weird, I think. And then uh, maybe it was on. the twelve drinks of my different compass boxes that you drank. That, that did it. yeah, that was like Nirvana. It was like, would you like some general? Yeah. <laughs> how about how about the enlightenment? Mm -hmm. I made that one up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Travis Souders has joined us. Whiskey in the six. Stefan Logger, Lana Lou, Andy Ooh. Walker, Jared Gibbs, the Beaver. Toon Van be Rouge is here. Whiskey Ooh. Throttle, Dan E, and Twig. Sweet. There's also going to be a second little deal that uh, that uh, I'll be talking about with some. Uh, we'll tease it later. Or do you want me to do it now on the cards that are going to go out to our Super Scotch God Patreon fans? Let's go, yeah, go ahead. You brought it up, so let's do it. How about the whiskey though? First, we do have a fan that sent us a sample of Elijah Craig, 18 year old. Right. Um, I think we split it. I think Bart got the better half of the deal, though. Boom. But I, I like getting the better half of the deal. I got the better half of the deal yesterday. You, you Yeah, you did. Wow, you're double single on Compass Box. I've got to find that. I mean, well, That was one deal we were going to do today as well, was run around and, and get a couple bottles. I know where the Lost Blend was at and the double single, and we didn't even get that done. Ooh, I can smell this. I am going to call you, though, because I'm going to call those places, and they're going to pull them off the shelf. Man, the cherries and the caramels. Well, Elijah Craig always has those good, strong caramel notes. Cherries are blasting you. Mm. A cherry blast. Uh, Brian Schultz came in. Access whiskeys, equal opportunity guns, whiskey life, malt fan. My Bourbon Journey, Andy Walker, Howard Walmsley. Don't you guys, don't you people work on Monday? Yeah, that's what you're always saying to us. Goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, before we mention this, I'll tease it with just a little whoop. Before uh, I mentioned sending the cards. That wasn't, you couldn't even see what you just showed there. That's why I did it. It was a teaser. I'll show more in a little bit. Well, how many, if we've got enough folks on and, and I'll direct Patreon fans to go watch it later for if they want more info on it. Um, needless to say, some Patreon uh, supporters have already provided their addresses to us. Some have even provided it multiple times because uh, we weren't recording them. So I've done two things. One, I've copied those into a, uh, a Word doc. So we're going to have them. I've got to get that formulated properly so it'll work with Label Maker. But we are going to send, when we had our one millionth view, we took a few photos. We kind of did a funny little, uh, almost like a Christmas card looking kind of thank you thing. And we're going to send it out exclusively to our Patreon supporters. Um, and they're going to get that. Is that better? Is that slower? There you go. So it's got a little thank you message that you probably really can't read. The white kind of came in, and then it's got four different photos. We've got the grumpy dummies. Looks like, looks like one of those might be us in a bathtub together. We are in a tub. That's all that needs to be said there. We're in a tub, and I barely fit solo in a tub. <laughs> 
So that's in there. Now, some of the folks that, that I already have there is ready to go. We're going to get our, uh, we've got a little uh, return address stamp that uh, I was going to get as well today, but we couldn't get done. And then I'll get these sent off right away. And then other Patreon supporters I'll be reaching out to or voluntarily send us your address if you have it. But uh, we've already got uh, Quok out of Canada. Chris from Moore is going to get his. Uh, Harry, Harry Hitchings, Bryce Swiggum's getting one. I'm going to get to Lana soon. We got Amy and Amy's husband, of course. Kevin Baker. Uh, Ronald Wary's got one coming already. Scott Slatherly. Hello. Thank you, Scott. He was instrumental the other day. Do you say Slattery or Slatherly? Yeah, I, I could have had a slur there. I don't know. Slatterly. Maybe it's I've already <laughs> sampled uh, what we've got, maybe. <clears throat> That would have been like the last impromptu. Sorry, Slattery. This might uh, be a little bit. This, this might be a little bit too oaky for you, Bart. I know. Just slightly. It's got a little. I haven't sipped. Just knows. But Francois Daniels, thank you, Mark Pixler. I'm almost done. Robert Childs, who's not too far away. Uh oh. Hold on. Look at me and my infinite wisdom. Mark almost got two. <laughs> I, I, he must have been one of the ones that gave us doubles. He was like, you guys wrote my name down yet? Johnny Hawkins. Nashida, he's getting one. Uh, Ju Kim and uh, Brendan Gifford and, of course, Liza. All right, they're all going to be getting one coming very, very soon. So the oak, what are your tasting notes? Uh, there, there is a, a very astringent dry oak. This is probably, and I've heard some people say the 23-year Elijah Craig is is too old. It's over-oaked. This is another month or two in the barrel, and I think this would probably be too too oaked. Still smooth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. It's delicious in my book. Right. Very rich. I mean, the age is definitely showing itself. Mm. Now, I'm a little worried that the coffee I was drinking... Although you said that's a good way to cleanse your palate, right? I usually don't have coffee near near my. Uh, the thing is, once you take a sip or two, you know um, the whiskey should get your palate adjusted to where it should be. Those first couple sips might be a little off. Mm. There's a heavy cherry pie, the graham crust and ice cream on it, everything. Cherries, the vanilla. This is the 2017, 18, right? Uh, that's what, and this was, uh, Tom, I don't know if he wants us to say his whole name. Tom got this, mm. was responsible for getting this sample to you, 45%. And we were going to do like a little quick hitter together. And, uh, what happened was we've been filming all of our, um, Pete shootouts, uh, the 16 March Madness blind Pete shootout. And that was taking precedent. And the last time we filmed, we did not, we were going to do it right then. And uh, we just didn't have time to get to it. So we thought, you know what? It'd be a great impromptu. Yeah, I agree. 45%. Mm. He does have written down this was barrel 4322. Mm. And uh, he has the price on here, $129. I think if he got it for that, he's very lucky. Wow, what have you? I haven't even seen it. But, well, yeah, and most places, that's probably going to be a three to $400 bottle by the Ooh, time places wow. it up. Yeah. Hmm. How's my, uh, you, you just got a little bit laggy there for a second. How am I coming in? Am I coming in all right? Yeah, you look good. Thank you. I love when you say it that way. <laughs> you look fabulous. I like your hat. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say it's like a mirror image, baby. The Spartan helmet. Look at that. We only have, uh, we only got 50 of those and they're, they've been flying out. What are we down to about 20? Yes. Yes. Mm. I got in trouble when I came home with them. We kind of, I, I think I took 10 of them to come home and we had a couple locals that wanted to get them. And both my, uh, my wife and eldest son were like, we want one. I'm like, no, nope. mm -mm. these are selling hot. Maybe in the second run. Ooh, I've gotten in trouble for that. You were even wiser. You're like, no, give them, give them the hat. Yeah. Why Don't not? get in trouble on the home front. Yeah. I, ooh. Yeah. It's like my German has came out. No, these are, these are for dummy fans. My wife's you like, I ain't a fan. You could at least buy them for him. Maybe if you sure. don't give it to him. No, 
you well, can throw the money in the bank account and say, I bought two hats. Smart move. That would have been brilliant. That way you're happy <laughs> and the family's happy. I actually, my concern was I thought we might rip through all 50 of them pretty quick. You got I the thought, cat box pulled up? Ah, uh, no, I didn't. Hold on. Uh, let me do that. Duncan Harmsworth says nine. Nine, nine. <laughs> Uh, uh lana's asking why the spartan this was a design um bart uh, had envisioned and we had it um kind of brought up to or bart had it made to his specifications the uh, glenn cairn used as the nose piece in it if you can see and then our symbol of course get ready to mute me for a little bit while i bring up this deal so we don't get a weird feedback loop the uh, glenn cairn uh, just hit yeah just hit mute i did it now I'm popping it out. Lana is saying she's gotten so many compliments on her dummy t-shirts. She needs Woo. to send the pick. Yes. All right. Jimmy Drammer remembers getting the Elijah Craig 18 for $40. Oh, way to go, Jimmy. And the, the thing is, you're probably only talking eight years ago, probably about late 90s to 2000, somewhere in that range. Hmm. All right, I've got the uh, I've got it up now. Was there a particular uh, comment that you thought was mocking me or something? No, mm -hmm. I just saw Travis or uh, Duncan and and Travis giving some uh, German. Oh, like was ist los? Nine and nigh when you were is when you were talking about not giving the hats to the wife and the kid. Nicht ist los. Oh man. Yeah, Access Whiskey, he points out there's an Elijah Craig 18 for sale in one of his groups for 300 to 325. Mm. Lana's seen it for uh, around 180. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Oh, very nice sample. Delicious. Well, and the thing is, that's the problem, though, with a lot of these whiskeys, the, the bourbons that have become so sought after and allocated now is a lot of liquor stores are even getting in on it because they know someone's willing to pay them a lot more money. Uh, we're running into that even with um, our liquor store and, and the George Stagg uh, B-Tax edition, which they've been pretty good with. They've already jacked up um, even the Van Winkles. They want way too much money for, you know, even for right. us, which I've declined on. I'm like, yeah, I'm not paying you that for it. That's crazy. Right. Yeah. Claire the third, the third says good show yesterday. We always pick the worst times for him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a good show. Uh, John, anybody that hasn't watched or doesn't know, John Glazer from Compass Box actually joined us via phone yesterday. We took a look at, well, he talked. We had him on just for a short time. Uh, we really just talked Compass Box whiskeys in general and a new release that he's putting out, Hedonism, The Muse. Right. And actually, he went into quite a bit of detail on it. He did. He did. And there was supposed to be like a media blackout till Thursday on it, I think. Right. Yeah. Thursday's the actual uh, press release comes out on it. So. And we learned that from Mark because Mark had a sample that said he'd been ordered not to say anything until that day. But of course, John can break that rule. <laughs> uh, Toon Van Roo says he can get the Elijah Craig barrel proof for 70 bucks. Is that good? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. normal. That's, that's normal. standard. Yeah. When you can find it is the when problem. you can yeah exactly if you can get it for if if I went into a store and it was sitting there for seventy I'd buy two yeah so. yep because he knows he could offload one to me no problem yeah I'm done with that though you got in your share you you can find your own from now on wow how many do you need glut uh, uh, <laughs> yeah hello I've got twenty I, I still I still have some of the old bottlings. No, you don't. When you were busy the other day, I snuck in and got them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? I, I'm sure the Elijah Craig 18 is a little too astringent, a little too oaky for you, isn't it? A little dry. Yeah. A little dry, but even the regular Elijah Craig has always run astringent. Um, and and I learned so much with even the standard Elijah Craig when we did the blind because. You know, I scored it, what, an 82 the first time I had the regular Elijah Craig and then picked it out of the 16 blind. 
Yeah. So, um, and, and yeah, they're all, they all hit me a little dry, but I think it's the, and I'm not a big wood forward guy, but all the nice flavors that are wrapped inside a good Elijah Craig. Mm. Uh, Nick Place, I haven't seen Nick join us before. He's commenting. He says, I have a problem with Elijah Craig barrel proof as it should be over 67% ABV. It should taste very strong, uh, but I tried it neat and it doesn't seem to need water. Mm, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. That I mean, is, yeah. I mean, you yeah. can, it depends. I mean, even me, little sips I'm fine with. If I got, I mean, but still it does take water pretty well though, too. And, and if you want to bring it down a little bit, I can add several drops before I start to notice any difference really in what the ABV seems to be bringing. Right. And it's a very, but you, but he's right. It's a smooth sipper while still being spicy and having that wow factor. But yeah, if you just take in, a, I love nothing more than taking in like a slight little sip and letting it hit the palate and you get that explosion of flavor that comes from a good Elijah Craig. Same with the 18, same with the barrel proof and really even with um, the standard offerings, they're really full of flavor. But what, what I like with the bottle of wow is what, what we call it is that it just bursts with flavor. What else? This is good though. I like this Elijah Craig 18, but I think it's, I think it's about at the, to me, I mean, I'd still like to try the 23. I haven't had a chance to, um, this is really, a, it feels like palette wise, it's reaching its max on age in the Oak. Mm. Um, but it is good. It's delicious. I would, I mean, if I saw a bottle of this for up to 150, I'd probably pick it up. Wow. You know, they do so, so well with just their standard offering with the barrel proof. Um, I, I mean, it's good. It's smooth. I just, I, I'm a big fan of, really their regular line. I don't know if I need to go to the 18 uh, for that amount of money, quite honestly. Now, now if I could have got it back when it was $45 and people are like, Ooh, that's a lot for a bourbon. <laughs> that would have been good. Yeah. Uh, Access whiskey is asking on the sidebar. What do y'all think of the newest batch of boo rye? I haven't picked up. I've seen two bottles actually uh, $70, which wasn't too bad. I about picked it up for that. Uh, but we've had it. There's just, there's so much on our plate right now. Um, it wasn't on my radar and we've had it, the, the other versions. Um, what's your thoughts on it, Access? Yeah, I'd be interested to know. We've got so much going on um, to go and compare it to a new one would be interesting. Had a great live stream. Cool. Um, so food, that Quig, food Quig says to hats. hats <laughs> had a great live stream. We're going to work on it. That's probably going to work its way into the show, Quig. Where there's going to be a, like a to hats all, folks, and then, uh, and then it'll be to lunch and dummies. <laughs> or it'll be to hats, to hats, scotch gods, or something. I don't know. I'll, we'll, we'll find it. So I'll, I'll try to work the hats in. I think it's become part of the dummy lore. Fits perfectly with the dummies. Oh, my. Let's see. What is Travis Souter saying? Have you ever uh, have you ever had a bottle that your taste buds seem to differ on day to day? For some reason, my uh, uh, the decades uh, that's the wild turkey decades. One day will be amazing, and the uh, yeah, and the next yeah, I've had that a lot actually. Um, matter of fact, uh, if I try something and it doesn't quite hit me right, sometimes I'll be like, well, it either needs to oxygenate a little bit or maybe it had something to do with what I ate. So uh, did I go buy all the compass boxes today? You know, we were going to do that. And then real world got in the way and we weren't able to run. <laughs> to hat. We hate it. We hate it when that happens. Yeah. Well, hat. There's a well, hat. Laugh yeah. out loud. To hats, well, hat. <laughs> I love it. This is a whole dummy language. To hats, well, hat. <laughs> this will be called dummy speak. Well, uh, back before Travis Souter's comment, Everwin, uh, Everwin comments, I thought it was not efficient to do bourbons for long periods of time due to loss of material because of warmer climates versus scotch. Sure. Which is, yeah, for the most part, you can't, bourbons won't age as long as scotch. It's a lot cooler in Scotland. Right. The massive humidity and temperature swings that happen in Kentucky, uh, the southern part of the U.S., 
aging bourbons. I mean, you know, opinions vary, but 18 to 23 years old is really the max you see with bourbons. Anything much older than that uh, really gets way over oak, so they say. Right. Yes, we have tasted it, Brent. And in uh, my bourbon journey says bourbon goes really well with bourbon. <laughs> I can't disagree with Who said that? that? My oh, bourbon yeah. journey says bourbon goes really well with more bourbon. With more bourbon. Yeah, that is definitely true. Yeah, I'm going to show this. Scott, we, Scott is a wise man. Yes, we've had some more people come in and join us. So if you're a Patreon supporter, you're going to get a thank you card. It's done kind of like the Christmas cards. You're going to get a thank you card if you want it, if you provide your address. That's uh, That's kind of funny. It's got a couple little funny photos on it. And, uh, and we're, we're sending those out to all our Patreon fans. So, uh, we've got what about 74 of them now. And I think I've only got 18 addresses. Um, also what this is going to lead to is, uh, I really wanted to do around Christmas, Scott and I are going to do a funny photo card, Christmas card kind of deal. And It'll go out only to our Patreon supporters, and I wouldn't say funny. It's going to be festive, festive, and and probably they, want, they don't want funny. They want festive. It's it's Christmas. I think they want funny festive. <laughs> I think they want it all. They want the it's whole a festivist thing. miracle. Yes, it's a festivist. We'll have the uh, airing of grievances at the festivist poll. <laughs> all right, but all right, uh, let's do. Let's do a, you got a giveaway to do. Yes, but hold on. And for those that end up wanting to send us Christmas cards, if they want them featured on the show, we'll be taking those in too um, at our P.O. box. So um, you are going to, I've got 89 different people that put in for that Altmore gift box. The big thing in it's got that cool Glen Karen that we both liked, an empty bottle. There is no alcohol involved in this at all. Um, however, there's a, a great display whiskey tome. So it's a, uh, and you're going to go with Siri. I'll just show you like some of the names here. I've got this whole list. Boom. One to 89. If you can do a random number with Siri from one to 89, we will call it out. You're bringing it up. It's getting ready to happen. You mess with Siri. Hold on. Hey, Siri. Choose a random number. Blah, 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 blah. Never mind. Man, wow. tongue tied. Really? Yeah, you're, that was sweet. Hey, Siri, choose a random number between 1 and 89. 40. Ooh, 40. Hold on. I'm scrolling down. 40 is, uh, I have it in as B Lamb. B, B Lamb. B Lamb. B Lamb. So I'm going to go check that out. I think B that's Lamb. Brian, if I remember right. Brian. I think Brian. Got it. All right. Well, I'll go look on there and I'll make sure B Lamb gets a uh, gets a little notice. Danny is in. So we've got the uh, the drawing done. I'll get an address from B Lamb. Uh, we're going to be getting cards out. If you are a Patreon supporter and you want to go ahead and send a uh, Patreon message with your address uh, that you'd like it mailed to, that would be great. If not, I'll be reaching out to people probably in the next week or so as I start to get these out. So. Dan E wants you to give away your autographed Jordash jeans. No. <laughs> well, you got all close to your mic there. <clears throat> Wearing them though. Look at that, Dan. That's what he wanted to see. He wanted to see those those jeans. You know, it's hard to find jeans that fit somebody that's six six. That's all I'm gonna say. Sometimes you gotta pay. Capri Extra. pants. Well, everything's a capri pan, isn't it? Oh, growing up, I suffered from the high water for sure. <laughs> if we would have been back another 50 years, they would have bought the pants long and I would have had to roll them up so I could grow with them. Luckily, uh, that wasn't an issue. I did love, though, who did not love tough skins as a child? Do you remember those? Did you ever have that? I don't remember tough skins. Oh. Was, that, was that Sears? I don't know, but it was a brand of pant where they actually put like an extra thick layer around the knee. Because I would get in trouble for wearing out the uh, the pants and the knee, and they had like a, a fake leather patch called Tough Skins. And man, when 
when I uh, outgrew their longest length on that one, I was sad. I would have been – right now I'd be wearing tough skins if they put them out for men. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Brent and Marianne Sturgill is asking when you're going to review the Dalmore Cigar Mall. We reviewed that. That was a while back. Yeah, a long time ago. It's still probably, on the back. Probably about Christmas of 16, December, January – December 16, January 17, I bet we did that one. Go to the archives. We've got a beautiful archives. They're all there. Mm -mm. Uh, Lana Lou is asking if we like Four Roses. Have we tried all the recipes, blind tasting? That could be fun. Uh, she did that there with some people from her group. We just did Four Roses small batch. Mm -hmm. Quite a while back, we did Four Roses single barrel. You're right, which which we recipe? recently picked up another bottle of, and we'll probably review that one again. Just yeah. cause it's been that long since we've reviewed it. Yeah, we were uh, we were all over Four Roses like a two years ago or something, weren't we? Uh, that was when well, when we first started bourbons. I'll bet you it was probably like the fourth bourbon we did somewhere in there. So go back to summer of fourteen. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. We had TKs when I was a kid. North Star running shoes, food quig. He had TKs. Wow. Lana Lou says, well, they have 10 different mash bills. Uh, yeah, we have we have samples of those that the beaver sent us, matter of fact. And we've done just a couple of them. The rest are still sitting here. That That's might all, the OBSQs, the OESQs, all those. That might be another good one. I don't know. Because you're right. We were like, how do we review those? Should we just enjoy them or do we fit them into a show? Right. That's a good point. I bet you the the, the beef just has everything. He yeah, said the yeah. darkness. Hmm. Darkness. All right. So let's see. What else have we done? Because we've done pretty good there. I've run through my, uh, my Elijah Craig sample. It's gone. Uh, we, we briefly touched on t-shirts. We are going to be, it's, it'll probably be in April now, probably about mid April, maybe all of the t-shirt designs we have are going to be taken down. They're getting revamped. Some are getting taken away. Some will get tweaked a little bit, but all the designs that are up there now, I mean, like I say, they're either going to be taken down or you won't see them again. Or if they come back, they'll have, it'll be a little bit different design with them. Like this one is one of the top sellers. Right. It'll return, but it will be a little different. It'll be tweaked just a little bit somehow. So if you really want it as it stands now, go get it now. Um, That'll probably happen about mid-April. We'll, we'll do that. Yeah, we've got some cool designs coming out. Uh, Billy Wayne is asking about our polos. We still debate back and forth if we want to sell those or not. They may become a Patreon reward for our, some of our Patreon supporters once they reach a certain level. See, I still think though we could. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. We could make the Patreon one very unique, where you can only get it when you're a Patreon. So the verbiage would be a little different on the Patreon polo. Well, and, and, then, and uh, I forgot I was going to bring this up earlier, real quick, Bart. But Nick Place, I think it was him earlier too, had commented about this. There's some information on the web that some of the I don't know if it's the newer bottles, but there are some Elijah Craig uh, barrel proof bottles out there that they accidentally put Elijah Craig 18 in. You do that? I don't. I don't know if that's the newer bottle. Nick, do you know on the newer bottlings or which bottling was it that that supposedly happened? Yeah. Amy says, hey, hey there. Hey, hey Amy. Way. Hey, Amy. We're about done. We're ra about to wrap it up. That's right. You'll have a card coming your way in a little bit, Amy. All the Patreon supporters, we already have addresses for getting this little thank you. And I'm soliciting the other addresses from Patreon folks that have not provided. Uh, V-Rich wants STD boxers. I love the sound of that. It sounds like it might catch on. Might we, be. Don't wanna, we don't want to oversaturate the market. <laughs> though, just, you, know, putting out buttons, you know, it's a little bit here and there. Something new. Sure. You know, something blue, something borrowed. Right. All that. Uh, I would like to point out Bart's uh, stepdaughter was over a couple weekends ago. He hung out. He was telling me he was pretty stressed out because all these people had come over. <laughs> and they were doing this deal Ugh. and all the, it was all this celebration and these girls were running around and it was this deal. And they, 
and then they throw this thing in the fire and it makes this smoke and then it tells you the sex of the child and i go you mean a gender reveal party yeah. he goes yeah he goes how do you know about that right I go, everybody knows about a gender no, reveal they party. no they don't it's a brand new thing and it's crazy it's like what else <laughs> how how much of this and then the chupacabras going crazy and all these ladies are over and they're all high pitched. And so my wife's finally like, take the dog out, take the dog for a walk. And then they set up my son-in-law. They had it uh, for a burst of like one second. It put out blue smoke in the fire pit and then it changed to pink for like a minute. I thought that was just cruel because he's like, yeah. And then they're like, uh, uh, and then it switched on him. And they're all, he's being like video phoned by 18 women. And I'm like, when did this become a trend? A gender reveal first. That's, I don't, I don't think know, they're even, I don't think they're even new. They've been around for a few years now. That's private idea. First of all, I, I want to know right away. I remember it was like, they're doing the, uh, they're they're doing the sonogram. They're like, you want to know? And my wife and I were like, yeah, good yeah. boy. There you go. We didn't need to get together a party, a secret gathering. We didn't need to film the husband getting set up. <laughs> All right, uh, Elijah Craig, eighteen year. Um, I'd like it. Bart thinks it's a little over oaked. I thought he probably would. <laughs> uh, here. I learned so much when we did the blind shootout, though, that, yeah, currently I'm thinking slightly over-oaked, a little astringent. Still good. Delicious Elijah Craig. I don't think I would go out and search for the bottle at that price, however. That's all I'm saying. Would you buy so, a Laphroaig or something if you had the money? I would buy a Laphroaig. And matter of fact, I'd buy a double single if I had the money from Compass Box is what I would buy. That double single is rich and viscous and oily and ah, oh, there's a single grain and a single malt married together, delicious. And then that lost blend, worth it. So, uh, Access yeah. Whiskey points out that he still thinks the ECBP is exactly what bourbon should be. I think yeah. we would we would uh, agree with that. It really is. Yeah, wholeheartedly, so flavorful, so flavorful. Uh, Noir Bag One says he thinks it's worth 120. I still like the sound when the guys said whoever said they were getting it for 48 bucks before the whiskey bourbon craze. Right. I think it would be worth that. If anything, well, I don't like when my bourbon spends too much time in the wood and it has an overly oaked flavor. That's one of my. Some people love it. That's just not my palate. So, uh, Claire. All right. Claire has a good point. George T. Stagg is what bourbon should be. That's a good one, too. Definitely. Wow, you just got really sharp and clear, by the way. You were a little digitized before. Now you look sharp. Oh. oh. But I, all, yeah, right. all right, we're going to wrap it. I think you wanted to keep it short. Yes, yeah, so we're going to scotch it, you scotch gods. Thanks, everybody that tuned in. Salancha, dummies. B-Lamb is the winner. Way to go, B-Lamb.